Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Please subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel to help it grow. So let's continue here and I want us to edit the users to be able to edit the user uh, and also be able to add an image if we want to. The same way we can add image to products just by browsing there. So we'll copy the same system here. So now, since we, when creating a user, we have this interface, we can simply um, use the same one for the edit purposes. So first of all, I want to change it a little bit from the word sign up. So let me go to sign up view. Uh, instead of say, create user instead of sign up. Okay, since we already have an original user. So when you're deploying this thing, uh, make sure that there's one account, one user account, at least, which has a role of uh, admin, okay? So let's change that from supervisor to admin, okay? So at least you have one row of admin, the rest you can delete. And then that admin can add the rest of the uh, users here, okay? Now this one is supervisor and creating user should not be an option for supervisor. So why is this happening? So let me go to create user, which is sign up. Even though I've changed it in the database, the session is still saying supervisor, so that's okay. Uh, if I go to the sign up, it says supervisor can create, but let's make it admin like so, which means now I won't have access anymore. So I have to log out, log in again. Okay, now it says admin there, which is good. So let's click admin section, users, add new, and this is where we are. So create the user. And then cancel takes us back. And then instead of sign up there on the uh, on the bottom, we're going to change this to create. Okay, so now that I have this, I can uh, duplicate it. So I'm just going to select everything from the sign up view. Inside the oath, I'm going to create a new file, paste everything, save this. Instead of sign up the view, this one is going to be uh, edit dash user dot view dot php great and then from this i can now go to the sign up controller select everything copy and right about here i can create a new file in the controllers folder paste this save instead of sign up uh, this one is going to be edit dash user dot php Okay, very good. So, very nice, very nice. So here, instead of auth sign up, we're going to have auth edit dash user. Okay, very good. And then here we change this to edit user. Mm -hmm. And then instead of create, we'll put save. Okay, the rest remains the same. <clears throat> we also need to add for email. Oh, sorry, not email, image. So let me refresh this, cancel this, and the edit should point to that. So uh, it says user edit instead of edit user. Maybe I should have done that instead. Edit user is not good, should be user edit, but it's okay, uh, not really a big deal. Let me go to per users view and I can change that from here where it says add new. Where's the edit button? Edit button. So it should have been user edit. But uh, yeah, it's okay. Edit dash user. The reason I like to save user edit instead because user edit and user delete can be right next to each other in here. But it's okay, not really a big deal. 
let me move this as well so that I can create delete user as well like that alrighty then so refresh and let's click edit let's try my own or let's try Mary so there we go edit user we have an ID there that's good so let's utilize that ID instead so if I go to the let's close the sign up view and sign up controller the edit user controller here we need to read since we have this user we need to be able to read a specific user so we can use the where clause here uh, let's see uh -huh. row ba -ba -ba -ba. now since we're doing this before we post anything let's move this above and then let's read from the database so i'm going to say row is equal to user which is the class and i'll say where actually not the where let's use it first okay let me make sure that function actually exists so it does in models oh by the way if you hover on these things and uh, it shows you this what this means is that where you can find this function so if i click here it shows me exactly where that function is so it can be very useful uh, to navigate around files and stuff okay so row user first and what i want to get here is the id that resembles a specific id so i haven't created that id but i will so i'll just say id is equal to i'm looking in the get variables section and i'm looking for id but in case it does not exist i will just set id to no but then i want to always make sure that id is an integer because people could use this actually it's not even a big problem since we are using prepared statements this is fine even if something someone types in a weird thing or some malicious code it will still get thrown out by the prepared statements anyway so row should have something otherwise we should say we didn't find anything so let's go to the view section here and right about here where we put the post the form sorry let's put a php tag and say if is this is not an array though it's an object because it's a single item so if is object like that and let's close up with an end if right at the bottom just after the form another end if and let's change this one to an else full colon and then down here let's put a message in a div and say that user was not found exclamation point let's add a class here and say alert and say alert danger and text center okay that should do it so let's come back here and refresh that user was not found and even when the user is not found we still need to have the console button so uh, we may want to add an extra console button there like so uh -huh. so that user was not found console we're back so eared it that user was not found so why wasn't this user found let's check it out let me go back here and let's see what row contains so show row or you can use var dump so that it tells you what type of item it is but it seems we did find this user so and it's an array so it's not an object sorry my bad it's actually an array uh, because it says array right there okay so if is array then we are good to go but at least we've seen how it looks like if we don't find it there we go so if i put another id there then i won't find it but if i click there we go
Now I need it to show me the information down here. So if I go down to the view itself, there's set value here uh, for this, but we need a default value as well. So let me find where set value is in PHP functions, click on that. So there's key and there's default. So that's good. So which means we can add a default value here for every set value. So I'm just going to put a comma and put row, row uh, username like that. So let me save this. Let me see if that works. And there we go. That's good. So I can just copy this part. Look for set value everywhere. Here is email and here is password. But really, actually, yeah, password here. Now, we don't want password to have a default value. We want this to be empty. So let's put an empty there. Uh, confirm password as well should be empty. Password retype dash empty. And that's valid. So let's refresh the email, the password. So password uh, here, what I want to say is um, let's put, let's check out the placeholder and edit it. Here I'll put a bracket and say, leave empty. What I want to say is that if you don't want to change it, leave it empty. Hmm. How do I say it with the shortest possible words here? Leave empty to, hmm, to not change. I don't know. You know, you can figure out some more creative ways to say this. Leave empty to not change. Leave empty to not change. Eh, maybe people understand what's going on. Then we can add uh, row as well as uh, what else? Gender. So since we didn't add gender originally there, so we can add it here as well. So let's put this right about, let me duplicate the email two times. Let's refresh. Okay. So username now instead of email address on this one, I will say uh gender and then here row okay so gender and i'll leave these guys down here but up here i will put a select and then put an option. Now the option will have this value for email. So copy. Uh, what am I trying to do here? So instead of using set value, we just put email like that not email, sorry, gender, and then put a few more options here, which is male and female. All right, and then let's get the name of this. Let's put it there. And let's get the classes as well. Form control. And all of this, uh, I have no idea if any of this is necessary, but let's just add it there. Let's refresh. So there we go. Username, email, gender, female. If I click, okay. So which means I can remove the thing at the top here. Uh, Remove that input. 
okay that way gender female male you can choose raw will have the same issue so i'm going to copy the select from here and come down here paste and here we'll have admin um, supervisor cashier and if you just want to get rid of them user so they won't have access to anything okay then uh, here we change that to role oh this didn't change so it should change to gender uh-huh and same here uh-huh alrighty then uh, this email also changes to row uh -huh. So let me remove that input, row, cashier, row. Same thing here, this email and email changes to row. Same here, this changes to gender. All right, let's refresh. Okay, there we go. At least we have good stuff here now. The only thing missing is image. So we'll handle that a bit later. But for now, let's see if we can edit any of these things but my oh mary is a user so let's cancel this let's click on this one okay so it's showing the right things which is nice so let's change mary to a supervisor shall we now that the interface is done uh we can uh submit yes yes let's see what happens when we submit but let's follow up that in the next video